हेलो पीपल वेलकम वन एंड ऑल टू जो जोस लर्निंग क्लब हेलो गाइस वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल जो जोस लर्निंग क्लब सो एंड टुडे आई विल बी डिस्कसिंग ऑन लॉगरिथम्स सो बिफोर द यूज ऑफ कैलकुलेटर्स एंड साइंटिफिक कैलकुलेटर्स these logarithmic tables were firmly established and these were used for calculations everywhere once the evolution of calculators after that logarithmic tables are now rarely used by everyone right but the theory of logarithm is very much important and why because most of the scientific and engineering laws are involved with the rules of logarithms so today we will discuss on what are logarithms before that i will highly recommend you to have a scientific calculator or you should have a logarithmic table or you can easily download that from internet you should have this logarithmic table book or a scientific calculator to attend this section okay so let's directly start okay so if a number y can be written in the form a raised to x then x is called the logarithm of y to the base of a i will show you by writing in the board okay if a number y is equal to a raised to x so this is a number which is a raised to x if it can be expressed like this then x is called the logarithm of y to the base of a so a is the base and x is equal to logarithm of y in this for example let's take the number 1000 1000 is equal to 10 q so what is y over here this is the y right and this is the a and this is the x so just take the formula so 3 is equal to x into x is what so sorry uh, x x is equal to logarithm of logarithm of a what is a over here a is that base right so base and 3 is the index so index comes to index 3 is equal to logarithm of base 10 to 1000 okay so this is how you find the value of the index from logarithm okay before that again i'm going to introduce you into mainly two types of logarithms we use in our general calculations and also in the scientific calculator you can see that there are two sections here log and ln so what are they i am going to explain again so there are take mainly two types of logarithms one is common logarithm and the other one is natural logarithms or hyperbolic or napierian logarithms so you can name these logarithms as natural logarithms hyperbolic logarithms or napierian logarithms first let's discuss what are common logarithms common logarithms are logarithms having a base of 10 so when the base is 10 you write for example log of 10 then you say these logarithms as common logarithms and this is given in the scientific calculator as a log so this means that this is with the base 10 okay so this is what meant by that and again uh, let's uh, do some problems with it before that i want to also say one thing is that you can see that in the problem sections i have written here lg so the common logarithms you can generally abbreviate it and write it as l g so when it is a lg you have to understand that this is a logarithm base to base to 10 so these kind of logarithms are called common logarithms and also now let's do these three problems for that either you can use your scientific calculator or you can use a logarithmic book or logarithmic table book for your calculations for the ease of doing i am using a scientific calculator i have a scientific calculator and i will be using this scientific calculator to find the answers of all these logarithmic expressions okay so let's find what is first log of 17.9 to do in the calculator you you can take your log log then enter your number 17.9 and then press yes so you will get the uh, you will get the value 1. Two five two eight five and so on. It goes on. You just have to write up to if it in the question if it is asked to write up to some decimal numbers. So write up to that decimal numbers or it is written up to some significant figures. Just write up to that significant figures. So one point two five two eight five is the answer for log seventeen point nine. And now let's find what is the value for log fifty one point three four. 
that is 1.71045 and it goes on. So this is the value for log 51.34. And the next one log 0 0.01. What is the answer for that? So value for this is minus 2. Okay. So you can, you can ideally find it using your logarithmic table or you can just find using your scientific calculator. So this section is only to make you understand about how to do calculations using logarithms and so on. And from the next section, you don't require a calculator to do or solve the problems. I'll be, we'll be doing all the kinds of problems using logarithms. Okay. So this is what a common logarithm is. Once again, common logarithms are logarithms having base to 10 and this can be abbrevi abbreviated as LG. Okay, so that's about common logarithms. And then next is about what are natural logarithms. Natural logarithms are logarithms having base E. So what is E? E is actually a mathematical constant which is used in all the engineering and scientific laws. You can see that E term. So E is just a mathematical constant and the value of E is given as 2.7183. Okay, and generally we use this all in all exponential functions. Okay, and uh, if you have any doubts on this section, please refer to my section on natural logarithms or exponential functions. I have discussed in detail about E. Okay, so when the base is E, you can abbreviate this as a natural logarithm and write it as LN. In the scientific calculator too, you can see that LN term. So this is the natural logarithm or hyperbolic log logarithm or Napierian logarithms. Okay, so now let's find using calculator again the values for these natural logarithms. So what is the value for log of natural logarithm of 3.15? What is the value? 1.14 one four seven four zero and this is the value for law ln 3.15 and now let's find the value for ln 36365 point seven so it is 5.9018 point, point and it goes on so this is the value for 365.7 and now let's find our last problems also ln 0 0.1 ln 0 0.15 what is it so it is minus 1.89711 and so on so this is the values of from the using natural logarithms so once again there are two kinds of logarithms that are common logarithms and natural logarithms Common logarithms are the logarithms with the base 10 and the natural logarithms are the logarithms with base E. So this is about common logarithms and natural logarithms. And now let's understand more about what are the rules of logarithms or how can you solve problems using logarithms. There are mainly three rules in logarithms. Okay. So these are the three, three sorry, not rules. There are three laws of algorithms which you use for calculation. So to multiply two numbers, for example, a logarithmic expression with log of a into b, you can express it as log a plus log b. For example, if you find the value of log 10, it will be same as the value of log 5 plus log 2. Second, to divide two numbers, when you have a logarithm, so log of a by b, you can express it as log a minus log b. Or for example, when log of 10 by 2, you don't have to log of 10 by 2 is what 5. You can just the value of log 5, value of log 5 will be equal to log 10 minus log 2. Okay, next, if a number raised to a power, when for example, you have a number like this, log of a raised to n is equal to n into log a. Is so this n will come to here, then n into log a. For example, log of 100. What is 100? 10 into 10, right? Or you can also write it as 10 square. So this is same as 2 into log 10. Okay, now we have discussed all these laws, and now let's find the answers for these values and check whether these laws are correct or not. Okay, for that, first I'm gonna take with the multiply two numbers. What was the law for that? log of 
10. What is log of 10? You can also express it as 2 into 5, right? So I'm going to write log with the log rule. What it is? Log of a into b is what? Log a plus log b. First of all, let's find what is the value of what is log 10 yields you. Okay, log 10 value is 1. That means when you add log 2 and log 5, you have to get that 1. Then this rule is or this low is satisfied. Okay, let me check what's the value of log 2. Log 2 is somewhat 0.3010299 and so on. And what is the value of log 5? Log 5 is 0 0.6989700 and so on. So when you add this together, you get the value 1. So from the low, this is satisfied. That means when you have two numbers, you can split that and write it as log of a into b as log a plus log b. Then next to, to, to divide two numbers. For example, when you have a number log of 10 by 2, you know that what is 10 by 2? It is log 5, right? And this would be equal to what? Log of 10 minus log 2. Okay. Please check these values in your scientific calculator or also there is like a readily available apps of scientific calculator so you can use from your mobile phones itself or you can also use logarithmic table whichever you wish okay so please find the answer and say me that whether you get the correct answer or not okay so log 10 by 2 is log 5 is equal to log 10 minus log 2 so please find the answers for this problem and comment under my video okay what is the next problem so what the rule says log of a raised to n is n into log a so it will give you the same answer as 2 into log 10 what is log 10 you already know that log 10 is 1 right so 2 into 1 2 also check the value of log of 100 it is also 2 so the equations are satisfied and this is how you find answers for the logarithms and on my next section i will be discussing on how to do problems using logarithms and find the value of x from it or find the value x using these equations for that please check on my next video okay let's see you over there and bye bye